Today we are going to be making some funky cocktails, okay? Because if you know me, I love cocktails. They're one of my favorite drinks. Depending on the situation, but majority of the time, I will have a cocktail, especially a porn star martini because they are just divine. I want to show you guys, these are almost, I don't want to say like my top five favorite cocktails, but these are just some of my like go-to. Say I'm going out or like pre-drinking or me and Jake are just having like a date night or something in, this is what I would make because they're not complicated, not too hard. You don't need a million ingredients or anything like that. This is me. Okay, I'm making the cocktails. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Location is different as well because me and Jake are in a lodge right now. We're kind of working with what we've got, so don't judge if a drink is in the wrong glass. I am fully aware. <laughs> we don't care about the, the presentation, it's all about the drink. Really quick before I start, this video, I am giving full inspo and credit to Michael Finch because when I say I watched his summer cocktail video about five times and I literally sat through every single minute, I mean it. Have fun. Just have fun. Okay. So should we make some cocktails? Let's do it, Jakey, you ready Let's to do drink? It. I'm gonna I'll get, get drugs. I'm gonna get <laughs> fucked. We're gonna get fucked. We're gonna start as well with one of my absolute favourites, a porn star martini. The main ingredient for a porn star martini is, of course, the vanilla vodka. We've got the absolute. You're also gonna need some pessoa, but any like passion fruit liqueur. This one is my absolute favourite though, and it's not expensive. So this literally changes the game for a porn star martini. As soon as I started putting this in the cocktail. Oh my god, game changer. It makes it taste so delish, so much better, so much more of that like fruity passion fruit flavor. It hides all the alcohol. Oh, vanilla extract um, or vanilla syrup. Some juice, tropical we're gonna use, or you can use passion fruit. Basically, whatever favorite like fruit flavor you want. There's only gonna be a little bit in it. So, first things first, let's get our little cocktail shaker and our measure. We are gonna put in, I forgot something. Ice. The ice! <laughs> the ice will keep it cold, but I also think it helps with like the foaming. I could be wrong, I'm not an expert, okay? I DIY this shit at home. Don't. Trust me, but don't. <laughs> let's start with the absolute vanilla. We're gonna go in with a double shot of that, which is 50 mil, I believe. Um, so like, you the feeling spicy. So usually George makes the drinks and you use the other end of what she's holding. <laughs> Listen, I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling groovy today. You are, aren't you? All right. Thing is with cocktails though, like make them as strong as you like. This is what I do and this is how I like my cocktails. I'm the kind of girl like, I want it strong enough where I can get a little bit like crunk, but I don't want it strong where I can taste the alcohol and not drink it because here's the thing. If you give me a drink that's too strong, it's just gonna sit there and I'm not gonna get fucked because I'm not gonna wanna drink it. However, make it weaker, I'll drink more. And we're gonna have a fun time. See my logic? Back to cocktail. So let's do some Pessoa. So I'm gonna flip it around to the other end this time and we're gonna do 25 mil of that. So basically a shot. Then we're gonna grab the Passion Fruit Puree. This is the Real one. I got this from Amazon guys. I think it was like 11 pounds or something like that, but it's huge. Good thing about this one, I did my research. <laughs> I'm, I take my porn stars way, way too seriously. This one lasts a little while after opening it. Some of them are like really fresh, but they only last like a like week or something like that, whereas this will last you. 25 mil. Yeah. I'm water in there. Delish. Water, okay. You thought it was gonna be like thick? Yeah. Mm. Smell that. Oh, that's just a passion. That's, a that's a porn star. There, that. Porn star in the making. Yeah. Tell you, that literally game changer. We picked up this syrup here because I completely forgot to bring mine. Normally I use the um, Monin vanilla syrup. It's like what I would use in like my iced coffees. Yeah, exactly. This I think will be a bit stronger than that, do you reckon? I'm literally gonna put, put it in like diddly dash. Sorry, show us again. Hello, diddly dash. Diddly dash. That's my diddly dash. Okay, that's my diddly dash. A little bit of juice to finish off. Give it a shake. Mmm. Oh, there's a fly. Yeah. He wants a porn star. For me, the juice in a porn star almost just fills it out a bit more and takes off that like alcohol kick. So when you think about it, all that's in here is syrup and alcohol. This will help to just make it a bit more like easy to drink, right? So sometimes I just like pour, I freehand it a lot of the time. I'm just trying to do measurements for you guys. Maybe we're putting like a, I'm gonna do a double shot. I'm gonna do a double shot to kind of just like fill it out a little bit. Two legs. Two legs. Whoa! See that? It's always that one bar when it's like, you're like, oh yeah, I don't know, he's there in front of you, eye contact. Throw the glass around, you're like, what are you doing, mate? Just make a fucking drink? Yeah, I should get It's too early for this. He's there, sweating and shaking and shaking like mad. <laughs> no, there is. Oh, wow. Got it. Got <laughs> a face of a cheek. Don't be afraid to shake her up, though, because I feel like that's what creates the foam. You know that nice porn star foam at the top? I've got this little glass. I don't have a martini glass, but that's okay because it's still the same thing. Finish off with half a passion fruit on the top. I mean, imagine that in a martini glass. Doesn't that look amazing? Do you want like the close-up shot? If you're into porn stars, 
that would be dreamy for you. Let's give it a little little taste test. To be fair, guys, I reckon this will make two cocktails, not even just one, because there's still a little bit in there. Martini glasses are smaller than this, so, or just make one massive one, who cares? There's no rules, do your thing. Cheers! Mmm. oh my God. What do you think? Oh yeah. You like it? Yeah, that's the thing, like this one is a little bit- um, uh, Stronger though. Stronger. Are we doing more? Sorry, sorry, I'm just busy. Well, give me that while you do the rest of it. Do you, want, do you want the, should I top it up? We're not gonna let this go to waste. Everyone's gonna be like in the comments, is Jake Drive on this camera? Yes. Yeah. All over the gap. are just the best. I'm sorry, the best cocktail out there is a porn star. This is my absolute favorite, like. So oh my God, you want it? No, just that good. <laughs> cocktail number two. So I feel like this is for my people who like Something to kind of pick you up. Yes, we are talking about an espresso martini. I love coffee. Any coffee whores out there, this is gonna be for you. What could be better? Coffee and alcohol. Sometimes when you're drinking though, you can start to get a little bit like tired and you need that bit of energy. Not that coffee does too much for me, but like enough with alcohol combined, sure. <laughs> Personally, when it comes to an espresso martini, I don't like it to be too alcohol-y because I feel like it just takes away from the whole coffee flavor. All I can taste is the alcohol and it kind of like freaks me out a little bit. So this is almost like a, a chintla, but still hits the spot. You know? Shaker filled with ice, fresh ice. Um, in the back, we've got a shot of coffee going in the back. So if you hear any noises, that's what that is. In the meantime, let's get the other ingredients going. All you need for this, guys, I think it's just three simple ingredients. Kahlua, coffee liqueur, sugar cane, syrup. This is just add a little bit of sweetness just to kind of take away from that like Bitter, bitterness yeah. oh, and <laughs> the vodka, key the key ingredient, <laughs> the vodka. A normal espresso, I think they just use like normal vodka. We are using vanilla because, oh my God, please try this. Vanilla vodka, like vanilla and coffee, unreal. I don't think I'll ever use normal vodka again because this is just delish, like top tier, honestly, try it. Straight away with the absolute vanilla, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put just under um, 50 ml, so just under a double shot. This is more like 40 ml. Kahlua now, we're gonna go for like a single shot, so 25 ml. Oh, sorry, I just had to, like just get my coffee highlight. <laughs> With my snotty nose, can I have a cold? I'm using the Monin cane sugar, guys. I got this from Amazon, but you literally want like a little, tr a little trinkly trink, a little trickle, little dab -de dab a little pourry pour. I made them last night for me and Jake, and I put way too much in, and it oh, was just, so it was way too sweet. So you literally just need a little dribble. Like eating skills. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let me just run and get the coffee. This is a grande Americano, so it's just a fat black coffee. I'm gonna like transfer that over. However punchy you want it to be, I'm gonna go for like a double-ish. The coffee is fat, I don't know like, how much is in there, like grande. Really I know. Bad. Apparently, if you go in with fresh coffee, it helps with the foam. I've just heard that, is that a thing? Oh yeah, the hot A lot of people say the warm, yeah. go in with like fresh coffee, like freshly brewed, double shot in there. Simple as that. Get the top on and then vigorously shake this apparently the more you shake this the better head you'll get what you'll get is all the head oh you'll get all the head oh, i wish i'd get all the fucking head <laughs> it's like god bless me it's <laughs> that light oh it's like shining down on you yes espresso martini is dark it will start to the darkness will like raise and the drink will settle you'll see oh it's good to be fair that is good again you can that. get a couple drinks out of this guys if i bring it a little bit closer can you see, obviously you've got the little head and then it's like light colored and at the bottom it's dark. It will start to raise and kind of become an espresso martini. Science! In a martini glass, obviously it looks 10-10 and normally I'd finish off with like a couple of like coffee beans on top to kind of finish it off as a little bit of decor. Cheers again, guys, for the espresso martini. Mm, no, that's great. No, that's really, really good. I even think I could have put a tad Bit more coffee in, am I crazy? Jake loves an espresso martini, so give that a little try and let me know what you think. That's fucking amazing, yeah. You really like that? Yeah, I like that. That, to me, is an easy to drink espresso martini. All I can say, though, is it is the, the sugar that will really help to make it easier to drink, because it's not so bitter or stronger, like, in the alcohol sense. The sugar kind of masks that a little bit, especially if you like almost sweeter drinks, but that's delish. That's, that's for me, how I personally like my espresso martinis. Easier my alcohol is to down, the better. I sound like an alcoholic. I sound like I've got problems. Maybe I do. <laughs> Cheers to the fucking espresso martini, everybody. 
Cheers. Next drink, I thought we would switch it up and go for something a little bit more refreshing. A mojito. I love a mojito because I feel like it's nice to drink. It's like with the mint, the, the like soda water or lemonade, whatever you choose, the lime. Oh, it's just something about it. It just hits different. I love a mojito. Tall glass for this one. Again, easy to make, right? First thing we're gonna do is grab ourselves some fresh mint. Just take a decent handful of that in the bottom of the glass. A couple more. I like mine quite minty. Who wants sugar on the rim? I should do yeah, that. Sugar the rim. Sugar the rim. I love sugary rim. Do almost cut in sugar tonight. Yeah. We need a lime. Cut the lime. Make sure I don't hit the table because I don't have a board. Squeeze that in. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a full lime in this. Why is that? Not... <laughs> Can you see that? It's like nothing. There we go. There we go. Just needed a little bit of help. For some reason, it wasn't squeezing on its own. I'm using all my might for this. I'm like, Ew! I really need one of those like tools, you know, that squeeze it for you. Yeah. That would be very handy because I'm not the strongest human in the world. Oh, you look quite. You look pretty strong. Did I look quite hench? Yeah. Oh, stop yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness now, so you can either use like granulated sugar or I'm gonna use my cane syrup because I feel like it's a liquid. It almost feel like it mixes in better and you get none of that like graininess at the bottom of the drink. Tiny little drizzle in the bottom of the cup. Then. Grab your muddler and you just want to start to release those flavours. <laughs> I'm going to go fill this with ice and I'll be back. They're gone. You've literally downed them. Yeah, I need a top up. I already need a mojito. Bacardi. Every time I pick up the Bacardi, it reminds me of Jake's mum, Lynn. Lynn, if you're watching, Bacardi is our, Bacardi is our thing. Love ya! Let's do a double shot of Bacardi. This part is totally up to you guys. A lot of people use soda water in this. Personally prefer lemonade. Add the decor on the top. Now I should have done this before I even started the drink, but my stupid ass forgot. Pour in this glass, a little bit of the cane, whatever it is. <laughs> I wanna put sugar around the glass, so I'm gonna put it on the back of the spoon and just put it around the edge. Obviously this gives the sugar something to stick to. Not like gonna be the best thing in the world because I should have done this before. Best way to do it is to grab a plate, put the, the cane syrup on it or whatever you want to stick it with and then like turn the cup upside down, rim the hat, then put the sugar on. Mine is not the best. Mine's kind of DIY and I'm absolutely, I'm making a mess here, but it's fine. Take a little bit of a lime wedge, grab some mint and I'm gonna just like decor it. Let's just... Wow! Yeah. And there we have it, guys. The mojito. Unreal. I love this drink so much. Like, even the smell right now coming from this is divine. Grab my straw just to kind of give it a little mix. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. They're good. No, I could drink 12. I could drink oh, yeah, 12. No, uh, is that a little bit, a little bit more of that? Mm. It's just so easy to drink. I'm on a beach. Like if I close my eyes, I'm on a beach. Seas crack. The waves are crashing. Waves are crashing. Skin sizzling. Skin sizzling. Ooh. And I'm over here with a fucking mojito, just literally living my best life. <laughs> this one's coming with me. <laughs> the second to last cocktail. I feel like this is gonna be. I don't want to say like marmite, but like kind of like marmite. Like I feel like you'll either love it or you'll hate it. If you like creamier inconsistency cocktails, coffee, chocolatey kind of like goodness, then you're gonna love this. This cocktail that we're gonna make next is called a mudslide. Basically what this consists of is a Irish cream liqueur. This one's actually from Tesco guys. It's the salt with caramel one and this is so good. Literally like Baileys, to be completely honest with you. It's really, really yummy. You can use plain Baileys or a flavored one, whatever you like. Vodka, I'm gonna stick to the vanilla just because that's my fave. Kahlua, back to the coffee liqueur and also some cream. I'm gonna use double cream because it's a little bit thicker. This basically acts like the juice or like the soda of the drink. Crazy, right? I know. A little bit calorific, but it's fine. <laughs> Already kind of like rimmed my glass with a little bit of chocolate just to kind of the aesthetic. Filled my shaker with some fresh ice as well and we're gonna go in with, the content of everything is pretty even to be completely honest with you. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna do like a shot. So 25 ml of the vanilla vodka. I just feel like I need to give this a shake. Kind of is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. 25 ml of this to Kahlua. Oh, oh. <laughs> the lore. <laughs> we're gonna do a double shot of this in the just covered me. Fine. Double shot of that. Straight in. Straight in the pour. Look at that technique. It's 
It's almost like I've done it before. A few ice cubes in the bottom of the glass, ready. Um, and then you just want to shake these ingredients together. Shaking it just kind of makes it cold. To be honest, guys, you can see those measurements. Make a nice full drink, which is fab. Kind of like an alcoholic milkshake yeah. is the best way to describe it. it. Smells really yum. And obviously, where you've got like the chocolate around the rim, you should hopefully be able to like get the chocolate at the same time. So let's give it, yes, give it a try. Yeah. That's literally it. That's literally it, like Dan. It's like a Bailey's with a little bit extra. When I make this, I always think, oh, imagine it with chocolate milk rather than the cream or like add in chocolate milk. Like it honestly is like a dessert drink. I think that that can get you drunk though because it tastes literally just like you've got Bailey's in there. But thinking about it, you've got a coffee liqueur, which has obviously a, a alcohol content, the vodka in there at the same time and the Bailey's. It is nice and it is good. Warm my throat. This is the type of drink every time I make this, don't I, Jake? Kind of play around with it. Mm. Like sometimes, like I'll taste it. And I'm like, oh, I want it to be more coffee today. I add more coffee liqueur. Want it to be more vanilla-y today. I will add the vanilla syrup. Like it really just depends on what I'm feeling. But that is going down a treat back there. Yeah. <laughs> Mud side for you there. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> okay, everybody. This is the final drink. Another one of my favorite drinks to drink is wine, prosecco, like anything like that. Such a me drink this one i wouldn't even say it's necessarily a cocktail it's more just like you want to spice up your wine knife and just add a little bit extra that's what this is especially if you like really cold slushy style drinks this is going to be for you ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between this is a froze oh, i love that name is that not just the cutest fucking thing you've ever heard pretty much all that it is is in the title, a frozen style rosé cocktail. Now you can actually do this with any type of wine if you wanna use white wine, normal rosé. I'm gonna be using sparkling rosé because this, from this brand, Brexinet, I think it's called. Uh, like their Prosecco is my absolute favorite. So this is the one I'm gonna use today. I just remembered, I've just actually cr committed a crime. Did not put Prosecco in my porn star. I'm actually really, really That's devastated. Hard, seen that. that is it. I'm really upset. I'm upset, as Drake would say, you know? Pretend I did that, <laughs> but pretend I did that. Anyway, so, three simple ingredients, the rosé, some ice. We are gonna blend this up. Um, so we're gonna use some frozen strawberries as well, just to kind of enhance all the flavors and add like a fruity sort of kick to it. Add in a little bit of ice because I'm using frozen strawberries. Don't need as much. If you are using fresh strawberries, I'd put more ice in to give it that slushy texture. Personally, I prefer using the frozen strawberries because then you don't dilute the alcohol too much. That's just a preference. <laughs> Woo! clean this shit up if it's gonna happen to anyone it's gonna happen to me i just kind of pour enough for a drink which i know is kind of hard to tell because it literally bubbles all over the place but you would drink this on its own anyway so you don't have to really think about quantities it's just whatever you want crack open the straws <laughs> smaller scissors in there i think they're big enough <laughs> yeah the whole cube um, <laughs> why oh no, why are they <laughs> Maybe that, yeah, add a little bit of flavors. I'm gonna go blend this in the neutral bullet really, really quick, and then I'll be back. This is the kind of consistency I like. I like it quite thick, but obviously the more rosé you add, the more thinner that it will be, so it's up to you. Look at her glow. Adding a little straw on the top. Oh, look at that. Look at that, how good is that? Let's give it a little whirl. Oh, mm. wine lovers. This would make the perfect summer drink. And I know we're not in summer, but I'm just saying that that would be divine. Took this from a 10 to an 11. Mm. Wow. <laughs> it's lovely, mate. Is it good? Yeah, lovely. Yum. Sometimes as well, if I want it to be a little bit more fruity, I add lemon or lime in as well. Sometimes I'll squeeze that in, depending on what I want. But either way, that is unreal. So simple, but it just does the most. Like if, you, if you're if you into your wine, ladies or gents, everybody, just please give that a go. Especially if you like really, really cold drinks. Like this is the one I'm gonna, oh, so many good drinks to drink. That is a good one to end on. Let me just say that. Cheers, bitches. 
<laughs> guys i really hope you enjoyed this little cocktail video hopefully this video helps so that was my almost like top five go-to cocktails cocktails that i love really good mixture in here i'm gonna go and finish this i'm actually feeling a little bit crank already and i've actually had like four sips lightweight alert <laughs> thank you for watching see you later okay